The legislation has been introduced during the past year, before the global financial markets went into turmoil. The new system sets out three levels or tiers, based on a point system for migrants. This has been compared by some to the system operating in Australia. It's a new policy that was put into place uh, despite of the economic situation, not because of it, but it does have the tremendous advantage of being flexible so that one can balance economic flexibility with impact on community and get that balance right for the benefit of UK workers but also for the benefit of global markets. The new system has provoked vigorous debate both within the UK, the European Union and in non-EU countries. The first level, or Tier 1, is for the highly skilled, as well as investors and entrepreneurs. The second level replaced the work permit scheme and deals with UK employers seeking to bring in foreign staff. Tier 3 is for unskilled workers. The United Kingdom, by its very nature, economically and geographically, is a nation of commerce and of globalisation. It always has been and it always will be. So to get a managed migration policy in place, that must recognise the nature of that global labour market. We want to do that, getting the balance right between economic flexibility and security for our own population. The current international economic crisis creates understandable concern about job losses in any host nation. Research has also considered the impact of migration on the country of origin in terms of funds sent back to support family at home. The British legislators accept that the recent changes are not the final word on the subject. The development of policy in the future will be to look at how the new system can benefit the country of origin. How can we ensure that we don't drain the resources and human capital of developing countries in particular and how we can use our new system, whether it be tier 3 or tier 2 or tier 1, to mutual benefit. That's what we've done with inside the European Union. We're developing with our European colleagues a policy through the migration packs outside the European Union. A walk down the main street of many large British cities reflects changes in population, especially in the last three decades. The enlargement of the European Union has also enabled migrants to find work here, but that is also a two-way process as Britons have sought employment abroad. Managed migration is a relatively new concept in Britain, but it is going to be part of the political process for the foreseeable future.